Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Rizal Khan. Today I am going to start the new course SQL. SQL stands for Structure Query Language. And in this course, we will study the basic concept of SQL as well as advanced level of SQL. And SQL is used to retrieve data from various RDBMSs. Actually, SQL stands for Structure Query Language. Is It's the ANSI standard language for operating relational databases. I hope so you people have the database background. So relational databases mean in which we are stored the data in the form of tables. And it is very efficient, easy to learn and use. Functionally complete mean with SQL we can define, we can retrieve and we can manipulate the data, our stored data in different tables. So let's see here a little bit brief uh, introduction of SQL using SQL to query your database. In relational database you do not specify the access route to the tables and you do not need to know how the data is arranged physically. To access the database, you are execute a structure query language statement, which is the American National Standard Institute. Standard language for operating relational databases. It means that unlike programming languages, mean in programming languages we define the complete procedure that how we will select our data. In this, uh, using the SQL, you are not required that how you will select your data you just need what you need just ask the database I mean just write the sql statement and you will get your desired result or data so sql is a set of statement with which all program and users access data in an oracle database here I mentioned Oracle database cause I will use the SQL inside the Oracle RDBMS. You can use the all SQL inside the uh, any relational databases like SQL Server, MySQL, H2 databases, Access database. You can use the SQL, but in our course, in this course, we will use the Oracle tool for to perform the required SQL statements. Application programs and Oracle tools allow often allow users access to the database without using SQL directly. But these applications in turn must use SQL when executing the user request. So let's hear SQL statements for a variety of tasks include what? We select the data from our tables. We can insert, update and delete rows in our tables creating, replacing, altering and dropping objects. Objects mean what? Tables, we can say that tables, procedures, triggers, these are called, or these are called, what? Database objects. So mean, you, if you want to create the new database object, you if you want to drop the existing database object, so you, we can use the SQL query language. Controlling access to the database and its objects, for example, if you want to give the, per, uh, the specific permissions, the specific privileges or rights to the different users of database. So we can use SQL. Guaranteeing database consistency and integrity. Mean through the help of the constraints. Mean SQL provides also different kinds of constraints. We will study later in this course about the constraints in detail. And through the help of the constraints, we can maintain our database integrity and consistency. So SQL unifies all of the preceding tasks in one consistent language and enable you to work with data at a logical level. And that is called what SQL, Structure Query Language. Another thing is about SQL. Look at, let's see this diagram. For example, being as a user, a database user, we issued the following SQL statement. Select department name from department. So first, the database, inside the database, the department table will be checked whether department table is exist or not. After that, the department name column 
is exist inside this table or not if everything is okay so you will get your desired result we can perform the following statements in sql select insert update delete and merge they are the part of the dml data manipulation language ha huh. we even we can say that that uh, select is the part of data retrieval language through the help of the select command we can just uh, retrieve the data or we can just select our desired results so it means that select is the part of drl data retrieval language insert update delete mode through the help of these commands or statements we can bring changes to our existing database object so that's why they are the part of the data manipulation language data definition language mean how you will create database objects so these commands are used to perform operations on database objects create alter drop rename truncate and commit data control language they are used for the user access to control the user access on the database objects grant and revoke these two commands are used and transaction transaction control commit rollback and save point mean after each dml operations we are required to use commit or rollback to complete the transaction we will study all these in detail in the later videos or in the later lesson